Hello and welcome to livealittlehigher.com. We continue learning Pirkei Avot, Ethics of the Fathers, with uh, Chapter 3, Mishnah 22, which is really a continuation of the previous Mishnah, where Rabbi Elazar ben Azaria was accustomed to say, Anyone whose wisdom exceeds his good deeds, to what is he li li likened? To a tree whose branches are numerous but whose roots are few. Then the wind comes and uproots it and turns it upside down, as it said, and he shall be like an isolated tree in an arid land and shall not see when good comes. He shall dwell on a parched soil in the wilderness on a salted and uninhabited land. But one who, whose good deeds exceed his wisdom, to what is he likened? To a tree whose branches are few but whose roots are numerous. Even all the winds in the world were, were to come and blow against it, they would not budge it from its place as it says. And he shall be like a tree planted by water, spreading its roots towards the stream, and he shall not notice the heat's arrival, and its foliage shall be fresh. In the year of drought it shall not worry, nor shall it cease from yielding fruit. So this Mishnah really, we see that here the the, the, the Torah really is compared to a tree of life and man is also compared to a tree of the field and the Hasidic teachings uh, teach that the function of man of a, of a person is to transform the earthly world into a spiritual world and the Rabbi of Kotsk referring to the phrase the heaven the, he the heaven the heaven is to God and the earth the earth he gave to man so what it's telling us here that god made heaven for himself it's it's his domain and he gave earth to man so that he should transform it into heaven so we're really what we're doing here when we're doing mitzvahs and we're learning torah we are transforming this world into heaven we're bringing heaven down to earth that's our job we have to bring the, the revelation of hashem into this world so when we are using the world we're using everything around us and for holiness then what we're doing is we're transforming the world into heaven and so when a person uses earthly objects in the performance of mitzvot they become spiritual objects like you can have a part a, 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 a pergamino a parchment and it can be used for nothing and if you use it for mezuzas or you can use it for the feeling then what you're doing is this piece of paper really is becoming something very holy or, or leather leather you use it for the feeling you're using it it's becoming something holy so we 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 learn from here that our job really is to transform the world like that movie the transformers that's our job we're transformers so the roots of the tree are under the earth but the roots of man really are in heaven we're upside down. The tree is grounded to the earth, but man is grounded to heaven. And um, that's what gives us emunah. That's what gives us faith. That's what gives us strength. And when this Mishnah is telling us that, that when a tree has not good roots, but a big foliage, like everything's outside, but there's nothing really holding it, when a wind comes, it's going gonna, it's gonna to make it fall or break. We see it every time there's a hurricane, but if you have a tree that is strong in its roots, the, a wind can come, but that tree is not gonna break and it's not gonna fall. And the same is with us. When we have strong roots, when we're rooted in the right place, it, things can happen in our life, but we're not gonna break down, we're not gonna uh, become uh, angry or sour, or we're not gonna be like, there's no purpose in life, we're not gonna be sad, we're, we're gonna be, you know, yeah, this happened to me, okay, I trust Hashem has a plan for me, and you know, I'll continue going, uh, yes, I can cry, I can suffer, but at the end of the day, you know there's, that you're being held by a stronger, by a stronger hand, it's, you're not only uh, wobbling on the, on, the, on the ground, you're rooted on, in heaven, so when it says here, and he shall be like a tree planted by water, spreading its roots towards the stream, and he shall not notice the heat's arrival, and his foliage shall be fresh. In the year of drought, it shall not worry, nor shall it cease from yielding fruit. So what, I'm, what it's telling us here is that really, we have to work on our emunah, on our 
faith on our believing God. Emuna is faith is to know that everything is run by God, that Hashem runs the world. And this is what Rosh Hashanah is really, is to crown our king, is to, uh, to crown him and say God is our king and he is the one that runs the world. And Bitahon is to trust in God because it's not only to know that he runs the world, but also to trust him, to know that everything that he does has meaning and purpose and there's a plan, there's a divine plan that we cannot understand. But we, if we trust that he runs the world in a perfect way, we will be able to uh, pass through that drought without getting dry. So I wish you a beautiful week. You should strengthen yourself. You should go from strength to strength. This is a month of strengthening, of getting connected, of holding on to God, of wanting to be near God and doing things that will connect us to him even more, uh, doing more mitzvot and bringing more light into the world and transforming this world into a beautiful place. So remember, live a little higher. Thank you.